What's going on guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how to use Apple shortcuts to change app icons on whatever iPhone you're currently using. Before we get into this, I wanna recommend everybody check out the eToro crypto app. Now this is an amazing place to trade cryptocurrencies straight from your iPhone. They've got around 15 different coins. I have been using them for a while, put my first thousand dollars in here. But it's a social trading app so you can actually make friends with people talk to people about different coins so the whole social aspect to it is you know the reason it's pretty freaking awesome so if you guys do want to check it out i'll throw a link in both the description and comments of this video for it and so changing app icons on your iphone can get extremely addicting so i'm going to pre-warn everybody but using shortcuts uh if you don't have it takes like five seconds to download it as soon as you do that you open it up you're going to need to create a new action here and I'm going to do three of these. So if I'm going too fast here on the first one, um, you know, don't worry, I'm going to add two more. But you want to, you know, create an action for it. Then you got to, you know, find the app. We're going to be using the open app option. And then once you do that, you need to click the little three digit icon. You're going to want to click add to home screen. Now, at this point, you just got to give it a name. Um, I'm going to do Instagram first here. So you're going to see me type in Instagram as the name. And then I'm going to choose a photo for it. So this is like the most important part, obviously, because you want to have, you know, a custom uh, icon already ready to go. And you can find tons of them through Google. But you can see right now I've got Instagram right there. Then when I click on it, it takes you to Instagram. So it opens the app up. And it's uh, really that easy. But like I said, I wanted to add a couple other ones on here. So uh, the next one we're going to do, I think, is going to be Pinterest. So we're going to be going through the same process here. You just want to, you know, add an action for a new app. All right, now we're going to grab Pinterest. All right, then we click the little three-digit icon. Add to home screen, we're gonna give it a name. Obviously, we're gonna call it Pinterest, and then we're gonna, you know, grab an app icon that we've already got, you know, in our gallery. We've got a pretty cool one for Pinterest. All right, pretty uh, pretty sweet, right? All right, then you click done and uh, you're good to go. Now I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add Robinhood. So let's uh, go through the same process here. I've got a cool, uh, you know, app icon for Robinhood. All right, we got to give it an action, open app. All right, then we need to click on it, choose our app, which is going to be Robinhood. Click the little three-digit icon, add to home screen, type in Robinhood, and then pull up the app icon. All right, then we're going to click done. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so those were three examples, guys. Um, you know, once you do one or two, it becomes pretty easy. And like I said, it can get pretty addictive uh, pretty fast to start changing all the app icons on your iPhone. So just be warned. Um, I want to wrap things up here with some COD Mobile gameplay. Obviously, I love COD Mobile. They had another update on here. You guys could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and let's get into some of this gameplay. Mag. 
Enemy contact.
Shot, shot. Reloading. We tied for the lead. Down. We've taken the lead. 